Hi, I'm Kitty and we're behind the scenes on the Nikon ZFC shoot. I cannot tell you how great it was to be around crew again. Just the creative energy was flowing all around, even though we did have a 10 hour shoot day. The adrenaline and the excitement just helped me remain in peak flow state. The creative energy is perfect because the story is set in this retro concept. I mean, look at this location, it's perfect. And we follow this couple that breaks their work from home routine, AKA wearing scrub clothes all day to indulging in a hobby that involves upcycling and fashion. So we see a lot of visuals of sewing, tie dyeing and painting shoes in our art film. My story was inspired by the new Nikon ZFC. The body's essence is inspired by their Nikon FM2, which is a very successful film camera released in the 1980s. I love how Nikon took the aesthetic of their old film cameras and brought it back into the digital world. Their version of upcycling. You can see many similarities between the two cameras with manual dials and button placements. The 16-50 kit lens also got a silver makeover to match the vintage silver body. The body and lens are really light, so it's perfect for packing and taking it with you everywhere you go and holding it out to vlog because this cute little machine has a flip out screen. It doubles as a touch screen for touch focus and changing settings. Personally for me, I've always been a fan of the manual clicky buttons because it just makes me feel nostalgic thinking back on how I started photography on my dad's old 35 millimeter film camera. I think after so many years of digital modern technology, it just feels so nice to mix in analog back in your life. It's not necessary, but if you need a monitor, there's a micro HDMI port. There's also a USB-C port for powering the camera and charging the battery, and a mic port for adding a nice vlog mic on top to get that crispy audio. This camera has your 4K up to 30 frames per second and 1080 120 frames per second. For my film, I alternated between 4K 24 frames, 1080 120, 1080 60, depending on what the shots needed. I don't think I could shoot an entire video without playing with that slow motion. So I use this for my close up creation shots like the dripping of the dye and of the sewing. Not only did I have fun with the slow motion shots, but I did throw the 50 millimeter macro to get the tiniest details. You need a lot of light for slow motion and macro shots individually because you need to close down that aperture, but when you combine both of them, you need to blast that light. Luckily, with the lights that we had and this location with this big giant windows and this camera's light sensitivity, it all came out really well. <sighs> My projects are never easy. <laughs> I do love a challenge and I at least try to attempt what I imagine because when it does turn out, it is the best part of my job. And if it doesn't, at least we get to learn something. Despite all of that, this camera is really quick to use and adjust, which was important to get through all of these shots. I didn't feel like this tool was ever limiting my creativity. I could throw it on a gimbal, a tripod, a slider, or go handheld. I was in tight places, low angles, overheads. The tilt screen helped me see it all. It was so light, so even though my mind was exhausted after that day, my body wasn't. I honestly had so much fun with this project. I'm so happy. It came out really nicely and everything went smoothly. I wanna give a special thanks to Jay and Kat, our lovely actors for the day. Everyone on our production crew for doing an amazing job and Nikon for giving me the creative freedom and tools to help me create and share this story with you guys. All right, you do you fam, and I'll see you when I see you. Mm, done. <laughs>